2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer begins the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Top five right now. Everybody likes a top five finish. It pays well. In fact, I can't think of two people that like top five finishes more than my wife and my accountant. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's nicely done. Time for the second shot into the first. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Justin Thomas, who? He looks like he's having an absolute blast out there today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, how about that one? I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. Currently has a share of second place. Let's head to this lengthy par four. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. Oh, well done. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Nicely done. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Ooh. And that should secure the par on this one. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. This hole is a par three. a boy good shot just six feet between he and the hole looking good that's a lovely putt to make for birdie take some pride in that one now let's switch our focus to justin thomas now, who'd have thought we'd see this he is behind his rival can he do the catching up that's necessary Not bad. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up.
Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. T-shot is looking good here. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Opting for the six iron. They've decided to club up. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. Oh, well played. And Alex Noren appears to be way out in front today. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side, with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the fifth. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Oh, wonderful shot, and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Our leader is up by four shots now. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that Birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. That should find the surface. Outstanding approach shot. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. And here we are with the third shot. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, that's stealing one. A birdie against the runner play. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. That's just about three feet away. Looking for another birdie here. He's currently sitting in second. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. OK, let's get back to the action. Playing from 110 yards out. Just three back from the leader. That one should find the surface. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. What an opportunity to make a birdie. 
Oh, just missed. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Our current leader is up by three shots. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This looks to be heading to the green. That one just slides by. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, what a shot from the bunker. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Alex Noren is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. We have a par five on this one. And this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. And if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green. But what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. That one's right out of the top drawer. This shot from around 210 yards. Just a couple back from our leader. Wow, what a shot. High pressure moment here. This for a share of the lead. The punt is underway. Yes, they've made it. Stepping up the standings after that effort. And there's always the sense of a birdie in the air when we stride onto a par 5 tee. Playing from around 240 yards. He's currently tied for the lead. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. Getting ready to play their third. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured, their rival will be looking over their shoulder. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader.
Here we have it. Try to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Henny, what's the player facing here? And from around 135 yards. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Oh, that's a great shot. And a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. And that punt will give them birdie number six on the day. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Birdied their last hole. No green in reg, but a chance to save their par. Yikes! They give them praise. Just look with admiration. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that greenside bunker. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. On a nice line. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Ooh. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie, and a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Nicely done. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That's tracking. And that's eight birdies today. Now, five shots up after that hole. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Wow. That was just striped. Oh, 
And what's in front of them there, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Launch that one into space. Wow. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Oh, that's a great approach shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This is a 12-footer here. Putting for eagle. That always sounds good. Hey, nice-looking line. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Ooh, right by the hole. That's disappointing. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Well, there's some real momentum with this player coming off an eagle at the last. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, well played. 16 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. If it's up, it could be in. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Opting for the five iron. Birdies are good. Harness them. Block the bogeys. They're bad. Well, that's a good looking ball flight. Lovely shape to it. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight shot advantage. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Going with the pitching wedge here. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for birdie. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Great drive here. Can it make it to the green? I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. 
Love them being aggressive on this par four. Great tee shot. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, super punt that. What an eagle. He's currently sitting in first place. Well, here we are, the 18th hole. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. This one is chewing fiber. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And another round safely in the books.